On the 8th of February 1943, a young teenage girl who was just 17 years old was taken to a makeshift gallows in front of a large crowd. Lepa Radic had been condemned to death for resisting the German army during the Second World War and she was a member of the Partisans. Her actions during the conflict were incredibly brave as she defied those who occupied her homelands and she fought alongside men who wanted to force the Germans and the Axis forces out of their land. The execution of Lepa Radic was a savage one and it showed the brutality of the German forces and how they were more than comfortable with executing a teenage girl to send a message to others. Welcome to the Fortress. Today we look at the execution of Lepa Radic, and as always to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Lepa Radic was born on the 19th of December 1925, and as a young girl she was exposed to communism through her family, and she eventually joined the Communist Party of Yugoslavia in 1941. She was just 15, and following the invasion of Yugoslavia, the Axis powers established the independent state of Croatia, which included Lepa's hometown and lands. She was arrested by the Ustasha in November 1941, however she managed to escape with her sister from prison, being helped by the partisans, and then she joined up with the resistors. It was a very scary time, as the Ustasha, who were placed in control by the Nazis, sought to ethnically cleanse the nation, and they planned to kill one third of Serbs, deport another third, and also convert the rest to Catholicism. But they carried out murders in public, and many people joined the partisans in the face of this, and some fled to mountainous regions, as the Germans were not familiar with these lands, and they then formed the resistance groups. Lepa was accepted into the partisans, and she became a fighter for them, and she also wanted to help in forcing the Nazis out of the country. She joined the 7th Partisan Company, and worked as a nurse, and she helped to fix wounded soldiers during battles, and then evacuate them from the battlefield. She tried to recruit other teenagers and young people too, and carried out different sabotage missions under the noses of the Germans, and she also helped to obtain grain for the partisans to provide food in the mountains. Lepa continued to work for the partisans, but if they were caught they were usually subjected to very tough and brutal treatment at the hands of the Germans. They would be tortured and sometimes even executed in public to send a clear message to others not to join the resistance groups and to stay in submission. In January 1943, huge anti-partisan operations were launched in Lepa's region by the Germans and during one battle at Narepva, she was involved in transporting injured and wounded people from the fighting to hospital and then also to shelter. She also helped to evacuate others and tried to rescue as many as she could, but this was very dangerous. But then in February 1943, the partisans were up against it, as elite SS mountain divisions were sent in to fight them, and the fighting was ruthless and brutal. However, Leporadic was then captured by the Germans. She was involved in trying to protect 100 women and children who were caught up in the fighting in the region, and she was then seized while she was trying to help evacuate the others. However, Lepa would not go down without a fight. She tried to fight back and she picked up a gun, and while she was facing the elite German soldiers, she fired this weapon at the enemy, and emptied the clip into them. She then ran out of ammunition, and was quickly apprehended by the Germans, and was captured. What came next for the young teenage girl was barbaric, as she was tortured very roughly by the Germans. They wanted to know partisan movements and locations, and they wanted to know information about who was inside the group. But Lepa refused to give over anything to her enemies, and with this she was marked for execution by the Germans, as she was no use to them. On the 8th of February 1943, inside the village and settlement of Bazanska Krupa, close to where she grew up, Lepa Radic was brought out from prison by some German guards, and she was given a choice. She was asked to hand over information, but she continued to refuse, and then an executioner led her up onto a box under a tree, where a noose had been passed over a large branch of the tree. She was yet again asked to give over information about resistance groups, but she continued to refuse. She was stood with the noose then around her neck, and she screamed to the crowd, Long live the Communist Party and partisans. Fight people for your freedom. Do not surrender to the evildoers. I will be killed, but there are those who will avenge me. The executioner gave her one last chance, but she said, No, I am not a traitor of my people. Those whom you are asking about will reveal themselves, when they have succeeded in wiping out all you evildoers to the last man, and the executioner then kicked the box from underneath her. The rope snapped taut, 
and within a few minutes Leporadich, the young 17-year-old girl, was declared dead. No one was allowed to help her, as German guards stood around her with their guns. She was just a teenager when she became a victim of the German army, and she was subjected to a harrowing ordeal in the last days of her life. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.